good morning everyone we'll uh, discuss this question this is mentioning a school development committee uses a device made up of logic circuits for making decisions the voting committee consists of principal and three members now we can understand that there are four inputs if you go label the inputs there are four inputs first input is the principal we'll label it as a and there are three other members so we'll label them as member one then uh, member two as well as member three so we'll assign letters b c and d so we all can understand that there are four inputs for the question and uh, what is the output here uh, the voting committee uh, sorry mm, the question says that the development committee uses a device made up of logic circuits for making decisions based on voting so output is the decision we label it as x o f a usual letter now we have to assign uh, ones and zeros since they were not being given in the question um, so we'll go to the positive side uh, as ones and the negative side as zero it says any decision taken can be uh, implemented based on the following decisions so uh, what the members can do is they'll vote or they'll not vote so we'll label one as voting and zero as not voting even uh, for the first member second member third member the concept is the same we are going to have ones and zeros if one is considered that is voting zero is not voting then what are ones and zeros for the decision decision can be one decision can be zero decision is accepted by the uh, team zero is not accepted by the team so these are the uh, this is the step one of solving this question identifying the inputs outputs and assigning ones and zeros into them now uh, next thing is we have to construct the truth table there's a part a in the question construct a truth table to display the function of the voting uh, voting device then if i'm going for the truth table there are four inputs we have labeled them as a b c d and only one output is there x since we have four inputs there should be how many rows 16 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as well as 8 so my input side is completed now I have to fill the output side this is the decision now we have to understand the question that's the main point as I telling all the time uh, there are two bullets mentioning the conditions uh, the first bullet says the principal and at least one committee member vote in favor or all four members of the voting committee are vote in favor that means all four are voting so member one vote member two vote member three as well as a principal that means all four inputs should be one then the decision should be one that's a second bullet first bullet says that the principal and at least one committee member vote for the four in favor so my principal is represented by letter a principal and any other member isn't that or principal and at least one committee member vote in favor so these eight choices the principal is not voting if so can there be uh, accepting of the decision never so i say that why principal should be there for all the decisions so this is completely not but all the next eight inputs are having the voting by the principal then principal and any other this is no any other member therefore output is zero here principal and another member yes principal and another member principal and two members yes principal and one member then don't you feel that all the others are ones so this is what the truth table is you have to understand what's going on there then uh, that's a part a of the question then part b derive sop expression for the input 
if you have to get the sum of product SOP expression, we have to consider ones in the output column. So then uh, these are leading to ones and they will produce product term for each one available. Now if you consider this row you see that here we have one under the A that means A, B bar, C bar and D. For this one the next row A, B bar, C as well as D bar. For the third row here A, B bar, C, D. So likewise we have to fill uh, the others. Then if I am going for the final SOP expression that comes in the form of adding all these product terms. So if I am to add them, uh, the first part A, B bar, C bar, D, A, B bar, C, D bar, A, B bar, C, D and we have another four more ones, I didn't write it earlier but now I can write it A, B and uh, the two are bar, C bar, D bar. Next row again A, B, C bar and D. The other row A, B, C as well as D bar. Last row is A, B, C, D. So I complete the part B as well. Part C says that simplify the SOP expression you have obtained in B. Now we have to simplify this lengthy expression where it has 7 product terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 according to the ones. Which method is easier using the truth tables sorry using the equations or else uh, the k-map. K-map is easier. So I am going for the k-map with uh, 16 cells. You know how to uh, prepare that? Having 4 rows as well as 4 columns. Right. So we have to use 2 letters for the rows, 2 letters for the columns. So we will use AB for the rows and CD for the columns. CD, 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 AB, AB, AB. Then first two are bars, first bar, last bar. First two bars, first bar, no bar, last bar. Now we will fill uh, the ones based on the sum product terms we have. First part is AB bar. AB bar means the last row. Then uh, C bar D. So here we have one. Other thing is AB bar, C D bar, the last column. AB bar, C D. Then AB, C bar, D bar. Right. Next one, AB, C bar, D bar. C bar, D. Here. Then AB, C, D bar. AB, C, D. So these are the ones we have. All the other cells are going with zeros. Now the challenge is how to group ones. Uh, we see, uh, uh, first we check for the eight ones group. We don't have eight, but we have four here. Ne? So this is going for uh, one group, complete row with uh, ones. This is having A, B as commons from this right A, B and from the columns you don't have any uh, from the columns you don't have any comma then we have another three ones to be uh, grouped what can we do i can group two by two but the best choice is going for group with four ones here then these two will join into the earlier two now we'll check the commons from the rows for these two rows a and a are common from the columns we see c and c are common then only one here is remaining. Still I can group that with another four ones group like this. That goes for again uh, from the rows B bar B is not. Uh, is not. Then uh, A is common. From this side D is common. Right. Now I got the simplified expression X equals AD plus AC plus AB. If I want to uh, simplify that further, I can take the common A letter out, A, D plus C plus B. The reason here is inverse of distributive law. This is optional, but I got the simplified expression like this, or else this is also accepted. That's uh, part C. 
When you go for part D, using uh, the simplified expression, construct the logic circuit using NAND or NO gates only. Right. Now we have to use uh, either NAND or NO gates. Now these are said to be as universal gates. Once you go for the universal gates, we know that from uh, uh, NAND we can make both O gate as well as N gate. Even from, from NO gate, we can make O as well as N gate. So that you have the choice to select either this or that. But my selection here is, since we have the SOP expression, sum of product expression, uh, we can, we need to have uh, one N gate here, one N gate here, one N gate here. Then there are, we need three N gates. You understand that? And only one O gate with three inputs. Since I need to have three N gates, I may use the NAND gate. Why? From the NAND, it is easier for me to make the N gate. Can you remember the way to get the N from NAND? N and NAND, they are from the same category. If so, uh, we are going to fix a NAND gate, a NOT gate to the output side. This is how we make NAND and uh, N from NAND. How do we make O from NO? We have the NO gate. Again the same, name, O, NO. Then we fix a NOT gate to the output. Similarly, how to get uh, NAND, O from NAND? Now they are different, O and NAND. Name. Therefore, uh, we are going to fix the NOT gates to the input side not gate for the inputs this is it again we can get uh, n from no gate they are also different therefore we need to plug the not gates to the input side right this is the concept now of this i may think of using the NAND gate as my universal uh, gate. Now, uh, I think it's better to uh, construct this expression, not the bracket thing. Uh, so I have to make A and D. So uh, we'll go for A and D. Okay. Uh, this has to be the AND gate. Then I may use this arrangement to replace the N. NOT gate, another, sorry, NAND gate and another NOT gate. Now from this it is producing A dot D. Also I need to have A dot C. So we'll take a channel from A and C. Again N gate. So N means this arrangement. NAND as well as the NOT. So this goes for A and C. Why? This is the connector, not D. Other one is A and B. So here we have A. Again, B channel has to be given separately. This is A dot B. Now I produce A, D, A, C as well as A, B. Uh, where I need to connect them through the O operator. O operator to uh, connect all of them. That means I need to have the O to me to be made using NAND. How to make O from NAND? Plug NOT gates to the input side. Then I need to uh, use three NOT gates like this. Then I am plugging them into the final NOT gate like this. But if I am thinking further, we all know that here NOT gate NOT. When you have two NOT gates connected together, what will happen? That is, simply if I am to uh, show you, prove you, here we have A, plugging a NOT gate, another NOT gate. Then after this NOT gate, this turns into A bar. Then this A bar is going along with this NOT gate, which is becoming double bar. What is A double bar? That is A. So when you have two NOT gates kept closer, we can remove them without keeping any of the gate. So this is almost equal to having the same line like this. 
using that theory i can eliminate i can remove these two not gates which are kept closer even from the next line even from the other line then my uh, final equation will be final circuit will be here we have the a channel uh, going with d and then the other uh, a connected with c i am bringing this and then this one next n gate connected into a a channel comes and uh, plugging direct b so i have to eliminate these two not gates and directly plugging them into uh, the next nand gate so this is made making the answer x for this uh, voting question and now we see that uh, there are only 1 2 3 4 4 gates used this is the best answer we can make right i think uh, you will get the answer as well as uh, you will understand this this is just a revision what we did earlier i'll send you another question uh, today and we'll try that as well just uh, keep in touch with academics don't leave it out with this during this occasion thank you